Today I'm reading from the book that's called Today, Tomorrow, and Every Day, Thoughts on Living a Brave and Real and Gorgeous Life. This is by M.H. Clark, and it's beautifully designed by Jill Lavianiek. Not sure I'm pronouncing it right. And I'm going to read some pages from it and show the design. So here it says, she made room in every day for delight. She continued to believe that the world was very large and still full of surprises. She embraced a combination of hard work and magical thinking. Yes, she said, the hard work matters, but I always leave room for things to come along that are even better than I could have planned for. She asked for the things she wanted. She invited them into the world. She cultivated something she called everyday courage. It meant believing that the world would catch her. It meant pushing the limits. It meant acting boldly. It meant she knew what she was worth. And the world always did catch her. Sometimes the landing was soft and sometimes it was not, but she always discovered in the end she was where she needed to be. She said fear meant only one of two things. Don't do it or do it anyway. The first one felt like a hand holding her back and the second felt like a hand pushing her forward. She listened to her heart as a voice of better reason, as a little glowing ember that wanted like the needle of a compass to lead her to the place where she should be. She believed it was important to know when the thing that seems most wildly foolish is also the thing that is perfectly right. She looked back and saw that the rough times had polished her. She had challenges she could meet. She had friends who sustained her. She had a complete and unfailing sense of all she was capable of. At this very moment, she said, I'm building a world so beautiful. It's always, even when it's complicated, completely worth my while. Change is never easy, she said, but I could work with it because change is the world making room for something else and it's entirely possible. I'm going to really like it. The version that included all of her, she put more life into her life. Oh, I missed. She created the best possible version of herself. The version that included all of her, she put more life into her life. This she said is a picture of me when I was still so young. I had no idea of all the things that would be coming my way. I have such tenderness for that woman. I want to sit down with her and tell her that things are going to be more complex than she'll ever imagine. And more beautiful too, and she's going to turn out okay. She gave generously and she gave with joy, but she always saved some of her for herself. She used to have a recurring dream that there was something big and serious and specific she needed to do in the world. Then one day she realized it wasn't a dream. She had developed the ability to see the things that could be hidden in the things that already were. She narrowed the distance between the daydream and the day itself. She decided she was not yet done with her transformation. There were still infinite cities and colors and chances to consider. I 
see she said that my life is a story of joy. I look back at the huge high points, the small satisfied moments, the days that were filled with love and see that they were everywhere running through the fabric of my life like threads of gold. It's true, she said, there may never be a perfect time, so I choose right now and right now shows her completely joyfully in return. Special thanks to the entire Compendium family, written by M.H. Clark, designed by Jill Labianiak, edited by Amelia Riedler, creative direction by Julie Flaherty.